Okay, here we are in Linux Mint 22. So I did the same for Utabund, 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 Utabu, whatever. Um, basically, to get DaVinci Resolve onto one of these systems, you've got to add some dependencies and a certain prerequisites. Mint seems a bit easier on the video card driver side of things. So I'll just show you. So you've got the base system installed. And then you go into here and you've got driver manager. If you click on driver manager, it'll have a look at the system and look for additional proprietary drivers. Now, I've already tested this all the way through. On Ubuntu, that's the correct way to say it. It's a bit more tricky to do this part, but basically on here, it seems a lot easier. Okay, so when it first installed, you'll get Xserve Org Video Nouveau drivers, which are the open source drivers. You want to switch to this, which is dry and video driver 550. And then what will happen is very seamlessly, unlike on the on Ubuntu, it'll install and you'll have a very capable driver to use DaVinci install DaVinci Resolve. OK, so once that's done now, normally there'd be a lot of command line and, and shenanigans to get Resolve installed. This hopefully using this simple script will make your life a lot easier. This works both for the Resolve Studio version and the Resolve sort of standard free version. So basically what you need to do is you need to have downloaded DaVinci Resolve and put it into the downloads folder. And then I'll put a link to this at the bottom. It'll be on Dropbox somewhere. This DR Mint script. So first of all, we have to do, we have to launch a terminal window. And then we have to make our script chart. Give it permissions to run. So basically we just drop that over, drop that over there, he says. And now it's runnable. However, when I try and do the sudo command here, this is, I don't, I'm probably doing this wrong, to run that script from here, like drag and drop it, it won't do it. So just do the belt and braces way, cd downloads, and we're in there now, and then you need to run sudo dot forward slash, and it's all in caps, dr underscore mint dot sh, and then press enter. Now I have installed this before, on this machine and uninstalled it. So you'll get a lot more stuff running after this as it downloads the dependencies. Oops. And what have I done wrong there? Pseudo DR mint. What have I done wrong? Dot SH. Downloads. Pseudo. I've left a space off of something, haven't I? Dot slash DR mint dot SH. And there we go. And it should ask me for my password. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong here? Pseudo dot forward slash dr underscore mint sh. And it, that's right. I put a space in there. Some of you people watching this would probably be laughing at me by now, but it is Always tricky with the commands on this thing. Anyway, what it does next, it inflates the DaVinci Resolve um, package and give that a second to do that. And then once that's been inflated, it should run through and pull down all the dependencies. Here we go. Now there'll be a lot more dependencies pulled down because I've installed this before. And we're straight into the installer. Next, agree to terms. Next, start install. Now this script was originally based on an Ubuntu one I made, and that was based off of loads of people's versions online that had created different ways to do this. And they, they sort of all work, they're all a bit, but so I thought I'd do it into a script. And I chucked it into ChatGPT um, and told ChatGPT, give me a DaVinci Resolve installer script for Linux Mint 22, and it did. And then, well, it, in fact, I did the Ubuntu version first, and then I got ChatGPT to convert the, convert the script into the Mint version. I'm also going to do one for Zorin as well, I think. They seem to be the top um, three distros at the moment to have a play with. They're more Windows orientated. Anyway, see, it's gone all the way through. Give it a sec, give it a sec. Come on, you can do it. You can do it.
any second now any second now keep an eye out for this it'll, it should say finish it's got the icon over here and there we go finish and it's done and down there DaVinci Resolve installation completed successfully so now all I need to do is double click it now I've run this before so it won't give you the, the it, it gives you the setup menu to start off with but as I've run it before it won't it'll just jump through this loading projects there we go and you're off and running there you go really simple way to install DaVinci Resolve on Linux Linux Mint and there you have it now one of the nice things on this is because I'm using Nvidia um, in here and I've got an I've got a um, 460 card in the mp4 section I should have AV1 so I can use AV1 for all my kind of things I can do it because obviously there are problems with the mp4 h264 and h265 and the licensing and this is the free version you won't get h264 and h265 out of the box if it's the um, studio version you will but everyone's a brilliant codec for if you're using YouTube and stuff like that and so yeah so that's great and um, just go up here and have a look at preferences and in preferences for memory and GPU we've got GPU processing mode CUDA and the GPU selection is auto so and you're done so quit to into world anyway I'll put the script up in the link in the YouTube video so you can download it and run it um, and I hope that's useful to somebody thanks for watching